Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Will Stoyklins. After long last, which seems like a long time, I'm back, baby, and we've got a car boot haul. Enjoy. been away for quite a while but through various reasons whether that be um, hospital visits and um, generally the weather because winter is approaching and it's not looking great for a car boot haul Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday because the weather's just not going to allow it but I will bring you one whenever I can. Hopefully I'll be adding in some different toy reviews and stuff as well. I've got some things lined up, I've got some stuff scripted and as my life settles down hopefully I will be able to do more for you. But I did get out to a car boot haul and it was very good, so I'm going to show you. If you do hear anything, that is rain. I've been waiting for two days to do this video, but with the rain, it was so noisy in here, I couldn't actually show you. So I'm going to make the most of it. First up, this. Very nice. The Monster Book of Monsters from Harry Potter. Does work. I haven't quite got it to open, but I've had two or three of these before and I can get them to work. It just takes a, a while. Very nice piece though. I paid, oh I can't even remember, a couple of quid. I'd hope to get about 25 quid for that, 20 quid, especially around Christmas. A great Christmas present for any Harry Potter fan. And there's a bit of theme of Harry Potter today. Next up, we have this, the Harry Potter figurine collection. And this is Harry from uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2, the Battle of Hogwarts. You see it's sort of sealed, the back's gone to it, so I take it, it was um, stuck to like a magazine or something like that. And obviously as they pulled it off the uh, cellophane's gone. We've got a bit of box cushion at the back, but if you were displaying it like that you wouldn't even notice. Really nice piece, paid two quid for that. And I can't actually find one online. I believe you can still order them from Eagle Moss, but um, this one wouldn't come up with a price, so I imagine it's between like 15 and 20 quid. I'd hope to get what? 10 or 12 quid for him. He's a nice piece, really nice, details good. Not a bad item at all. Uh, there is some more Harry Potter, but uh, you'll have to wait because it's probably the best thing I've picked up. So, next up was this Freddie Mercury Definitive Biography. I've got this, I've got this quite a few times, but inside somebody had put, firstly, a very nice newspaper clipping. And a book for Greatest Flicks too. So that was well worth picking up. I particularly like the newspaper clippings. They're some part of my collection of sort of got a few bits of but not much. So I was happy to pick up that. It's 50p. I'll give the book to a friend or something like that who's never heard of Freddie Mercury. So, you know, not bad. Some more exciting stuff for you retro gamers. We have Sega Mega Drive 6 game cartridge. Menacer. No manual, I'm afraid, but a nice clean cart actually. Very nice condition. And for all you Spider-Man fans out there, as the craze of Spider-Man on PS4 hits, the original Spider-Man on the Mega Drive. Not to be returned separately, so I take it it was part of the um, a bundle or something like that. Again, no manual, but the, uh, the cart's in really nice condition, as is the case. So I was well chuffed with those. They cost me 50p each. A nice little local boot sale. Another 50p buy was this very nice limited edition Nintendo GameCube wallet. Very nice. Uh, it's got a few marks on it, but I don't think it's ever been used. I think it just needs a bit of a wipe up. You've got your nice wallet section for your money, cards, see-through bit. Nice bit of retro in black and purple. So 50p I thought that was worth picking up. I haven't got a clue what that would fetch. I can't really find one. I'd imagine I'd get about a fiver for it. It's a nice piece though. Something you don't see. Next up. This is very strange. It's okay. Power Ranger. It flips down at the head. And makes noise and stuff. Press the button. I took the batteries out of it. But. In the battery compartment. We have this little box. I've got no idea, because I can't get it to open, so I don't know if it takes batteries or something like that. But because it's got the peg thing there and the peg thing in the back, it's where it's supposed to go, but if you put that in, you can't get the batteries in. So I don't know what this is doing or what it's to do with. 
but a cool figure. It was 50p. I thought it was worth it, worth a punt. So if any of you guys know why that extra bit's there, or basically sort of what he's worth, because I couldn't really find much on him either, do let me know. He's a Jungle Force, I know, 2002, 3, light and sound, so pretty cool. He's a trousers in good condition, so they're a fabric. So, again, not a bad find. So I don't really know a lot about the Power Rangers, but um, I do like to pick them up when I can. Because I know there is a big collector's market out there for them. Right. Get out the, uh, the good thing and put that to one side. Keep you guessing. A bag of figures and things. First up, my favourite out of the lot, is this Wombles yo-yo from 1973. Very nice, yo-yo with a Womble. Metal. Strings in great condition. No real scratches or anything to it either, because you'd imagine kids had raked across the floor. Um, really nice piece for 50p. Uh, probably keep it myself, but I could be tempted if a nice Wombles fan wanted it. But I was quite impressed with that. It's a nice piece. And my only other favourite piece out of the list was Jack Goldblum. Uh, Jurassic Park, I imagine this is from the second film or something like that. He looks like he's a motorbike rider from his uh, gloves in his hand position. Pretty cool. I do like a bit of Ian Malcolm. Needs a bit of a clean, but uh, nice figure. All these figures came in one lot, so I'll tell you the price at the end. We've got James Bond Jr. with his gun. We've got an Ewok. We've got... A very red-faced Lando Calrissian. We've got Batman. Dunno Muggsy if you need him. If you do, let me know. I'll shove it to me your next parcel. We've got... I don't know who this is or what he's from, but... Um, Hasbro Inc. 1990, I think that is. Anybody knows who that is? Let me know. He's a bit grubby and missing some fingers and stuff, but... I say this was just all part of one lot. We've got this dude, which I take it's from Kenner Aliens line, 92 Kenner Fox, no bugs. For his arm, takes he had a backpack, but no backpack with him. We've got this dude, again, I haven't got a clue what he's from, but he's got like um arm insignia. Got no markings that I can see on him, but um that's who he's got in his arm. I think he picked that up on the camera. Like three striped things. He's a, a nice looking figure. As the sun comes out. Dunno. So again, if you know, let me know. We've got a Dragon Ball Z figure. Who's missing a hand. I don't know why kids break these toys so much. We've got this dude. Which I can't remember what this series is from. Which is annoying because I've sold some before. Corpsey. Dunno. Again, if you do know, let me know. Let's go with him, or three more. So we've got that dude. That dude. Again, marked up with corpses somewhere on his body. And... That dude. China. 1994 Landard. 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 I don't know. Cool looking figures anyway. So I've had them before and I know they sold, they were quite collected and sold well so I picked them up and the whole lot including Ian Malcolm cost me £1.50 so it didn't cost me a lot. There were a few other bits in there but they were even worsely destroyed so I'm pretty happy with those. Now the best find. I can't find this anywhere online. Well not for sale anyway. It's this very nice Harry Potter, as you can see. Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, sculpted diorama. From NECA. Um, incredible piece, really. I will open it. Because the box does it no justice whatsoever. This is a bit fiddly to get in and out, so bear with me. The box does show a bit of wear, and some of the polystyrene has been taken off that side like that. And if somebody was hungry and wanted to eat it. So we've got the back of the diorama. Also in its bag. 
There we go. This looks like the um, room of requirement. Very nice. And you'll notice there's two pegs somewhere down here. Don't know. Maybe. Four is incredibly nice. Hermione Granger. She looks absolutely ace. Paintwork on her, not rubbed, no dust as such, nice detail. Two holes for the foot pegs, and she does just sort of stand. She can line her up properly. Which, of course, because I'm on camera, I can't do. But um, she does stand. Very nice figure. Very nice set. I say I can't find it anywhere online, so I don't know what to charge. To be fair, because it's for sale. I mean, I'm a Harry Potter fan, but honestly, there's other things I need to buy. Other collectibles, which might come into a set you'll be seeing soon on the old YouTube's as a bit of a collection review. But there you go, guys. That was. Uh, the card boot hall, so a bit of Harry Potter, surprisingly, off three different people. So it wasn't just buying out somebody's collection, which uh, happens a lot, but not on this occasion. Can get her back in the box. So, did you enjoy that, guys? Do let me know in the comments below what you thought. Um, sorry it's been so long, honestly. I've been quite upset not being able to do it. I've been on Twitch a lot though, because I just needed somebody to talk to and vent and just chill out with some games. If you're not following me over there, details are in the description. As I say, hopefully more car boot hauls to follow now my life settled down a bit and hopefully, you know, the weather will hold for a bit longer. In theory, I've got car boots all the way through till Christmas and then straight after Christmas, so fingers crossed that can happen. I will be dropping in more toy reviews and um, collections of mine that I'm going to look through and talk through because you know with the weather this is the time to start doing that um obviously everything you've seen today is practically for sale apart from maybe the newspaper clippings but you know do let me know if you're inter interested in anything or just message me anyway because i've got a lot of stock at the minute i'm looking at doing a fair so it's all handy if anybody wants anything so do let me know and that is it guys um so I hope you enjoyed, drop me a comment what you think, what you want to see from this channel going forward. Thank you to everybody who's been watching and subscribing while I've not been um, putting out videos. It's been a real nice, um, been really nice to see and really has driven me to keep carrying on with these. You know, a bit more prominently than I did because it's been tough the last few weeks, I'll be honest. So, yeah, thank you for the support. Anyway guys, I will call it there. Thank you for watching. And until next time, sneet snad is neat. Bye, us.